Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Soulful Eats with Lisa J. Today we are going to do bread pudding, brioche bread pudding. So I have a loaf of fresh brioche bread. It's uh, nice and soft. It's going to hold up good in our bread pudding. It's going to give our bread pudding another little bit of a twist on it instead of having regular bread. I don't know if you've ever tried this. But it's going to be really, really different for us today. And I've tried this before. It, it has come out pretty good. So we're going to try that today. I have four eggs. I'm going to put two cups of milk. Some cinnamon. Nutmeg. Vanilla. Sugar. And salt. We're going to mix all of our ingredients in, in this bowl here. Our wet ingredients. We want to cube our brioche bread. So I'm getting ready to cube this up now. And you also want to grease your baking dish. If you don't grease your baking dish, guess what? Your bread pudding is going to stick in here. So we're going to grease this with some butter. Put our bread in here. And then we're going to put our wet ingredients inside of there and let it bake. So then just hang tight. We're going to get the bread cubed up. And I'm going to show you how it's going to look. Okay, so I've cracked my four eggs here. I'm going to place that in my mixing bowl like this. To this, we're going to add two cups of milk. I just have plain 2% milk. If you use whole milk, it's not gonna make a difference. Whichever milk you choose, that's your that's your choice. But I'm using 2% milk, two cups of milk. this up so it's a nice consistency like this now to this we're going to put in one tablespoon of vanilla okay so I preheated started to preheat my oven at 350 so it can get hot to the egg and the milk mixture, I'm gonna put in one tablespoon of vanilla, okay? Also, we're gonna put in some salt. Now, I don't measure, but you need about maybe a fourth teaspoon. So, if you eyeball it, that's about a fourth teaspoon. Boom, okay? Then, you gotta mix that in. Also gonna need some cinnamon and some nutmeg. About a teaspoon of each. And I don't, like I said, I don't measure, so. Okay, cinnamon. nutmeg not, not everybody puts nutmeg in their bread pudding some people just put the cinnamon me I like cinnamon and nutmeg I like to give it that fall taste and last but not least we're going to put in three-fourths cup of white sugar so let me measure my sugar out we're going to dump that in here okay so we're back I'm going to add in my sugar now. I told a little story. I said three-fourths cup, but I like my bread pudding a little bit sweet, so I did make it a whole cup. So we're going to put that in here. I'll mix this up. This is going to be our wet mixture that's going to pour over our real spray. Now, if you don't want that much sugar, you can always adjust it. Three-fourths cup, a cup, but I like mine a little bit sweeter, so I put one cup. Okay, so I'm back and I have greased my baking dish and cut up my brioche bread. Now, you might wonder, okay, it looks a little toasted. That's because I did toast it. 
because if you put that brioche bread right in this baking dish like that and you pour this egg mixture over that brioche bread guess what's gonna happen it's going to be super soggy so you need to just be like a little you need to take that moisture out so that's why i toasted it because we don't want to have soupy bread pudding we want to have bread pudding that's got like it's got to have a consistency to it so if you don't toast your bread pudding i mean your you toast your bread what will happen is the bread will be super soggy and i don't know if you remember or not if you watch that movie vegas vacation when my man was sitting there eating that bread pudding talking about this bread pudding is extra runny tonight guess what that's what you're gonna have you gonna have a bunch of runny red bread pudding so toast your bread a little bit to take that moisture out so now you're going to put our egg mixture which is this all over this bread and let that bread soak it all up so we're going to pour it over You might say, Lisa, that looks like a lot of mixture. Well, guess what? You got a lot of bread. So what you want to do is you want to get a fork. You want to soak that up. You want to push your bread down like that so it'll soak up. That bread all down in that egg, egg and milk mixture. Because guess what? The bread is going to absorb the liquid, and when it bakes, it's going to puff up. It's gonna cook it's like a custard but guess what I'm not finished cuz in my bread pudding I like to add a little butter and I'm gonna do that in one minute so let me get this soaked up and we're gonna put some butter on top so somebody asked me if you add more bread what will that do that's going to make your bread pudding gummy and it's gonna be like eating paste so you go according to the directions of the recipe or you're going to mess your bread pudding up so i have about eight slices of brioche bread that i toasted and cut into cubes if you want to use more you can use more but you're gonna to have to get a bigger pan because you don't want your bread pudding to be gummy so now you can see the liquid is starting to absorb into the bread and now we're going to put a little bit of butter Okay, so I'm back. So I preheated my oven to 350. We're gonna bake our bread pudding, which is here, for one hour. I put little pats of butter inside of my bread pudding. You say, well, Lisa, you already put butter in the baking dish to grease it. Yeah, but when you put that butter down in there and it gets to marry in with that bread and the, and the egg mixture, when you cut into it, you're going to have something super, super delicious. I mean, it's going to be yummy. So that's why I always put butter in mine. It makes it more decadent, more rich. So I'm going to put this in the oven. And as you can see, I put something under my pan. Because guess what? This is going to puff up. And sometimes it has a tendency to spill over. And I don't want it to spill over inside the oven. We're going to put this in. Close it up. We're going to set our our cook time for one hour and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how the soulful eats Lisa Jackson brioche bread pudding looks stay tuned Okay, 
so this is what your bread pudding should look like when it comes out of the oven so it's got all that nice brown golden brown crunch on top okay so I just took my golden brown bread pudding out of the oven this is what your bread pudding should look like it should have a nice crunchy golden brown look to it if it's sloppy soupy start over you don't, you don't have bread pudding you got bread slop so that's not gonna work so i'm gonna let this cool off i'm gonna plate it up for you i'm gonna show you what brioche bread pudding looks like the soulful lisa jackson way so hang on one sec okay so we're back and our bread pudding is all done our soulful brioche bread pudding golden brown nice and sweet and i put i topped it with a little caramel and i put a little ice cream on the side so you decorate yours or you put whatever you like if you want to eat it plain you can eat it plain but i like mine you know with a little pizzazz i have me a little scoop of ice cream here also as a little a side caveat most people say, Lisa, you did not put raisins in your bread pudding. Well, guess what? Lisa don't like raisins. I don't like raisins, so I didn't put them in there. So if you want raisins, be my guest. Put raisins in yours. Um, most people do put raisins in their bread pudding, but I don't. So as always, I wish you a really nice night. Have a great night, and thanks for watching. As always, like and subscribe, and leave comments on my uh, message board if you want to see anything else. Thanks and have a great evening.